Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to our Medora tour for the Fargo-Moorhead Youth Choir, June 7th through June 9th. Just thought I'd add this little picture that I took a couple years ago of the city of Medora. You'll see right there down at the bottom, you see the pool and the motel. That's where we will be spending some time for our activities. And then um, the sp spot that I'm standing at is a place where you can hike up to to get a full view of the whole town. Okay, so let's get started here. I just wanted to give an overview on what the tour is going to be and activities that we're going to do. So we'll just start from the very beginning. We'll look at day one. We will meet at eight o'clock. We have two buses that will be taking us out to Medora. So this is on June 7th. I still need to find a location where we can meet. So if anybody has some ideas as to where the bus can pick us up, keeping in mind that we probably will have about 25 vehicles that need to be parked. So if you're part of a business organization or an organization that can um, accommodate this, we'd appreciate that. Let me know. We will depart at 830. And then our first stop will be in Jamestown at the Frontier Village, and that's where we will have lunch. We will have Quiznos subs delivered to the Frontier Village, and we will spend about an hour there. This is where they have the Buffalo Museum, and they have um, an uh, old-time village that we can walk around and look at. Won't be a lot of time for anything other than having lunch, taking some pictures, and um, getting back on the road at 12 o'clock. We'll get back on the bus, and then we will make a pit stop at 2 o'clock in New Salem, take a bathroom break, and then we'll run up to Salem Sioux. That is the, the large Holstein cow that you'll see there. It's always fun to run up there and get a picture taken. Oh, and by the way, we got to get pictures of all these spots. So. Um, we'll have to organize that so that we can have some memories of the whole group getting our picture taken there. Um, so that'd be a half hour stop to just stretch our legs, go to the bathroom. Um, and then we'll get back on the bus at 2.30. So we do get an hour back once we get into Medora. So um, it's not a half an hour from, from um, New Salem. Um, but we will get an hour back, so we should arrive at the Badlands Motel in Medora at 3 o'clock. At 4.30, we will meet back on the bus so that we can get up to the Pitchfork Fondue and um, take the bus up there. Then by six o'clock, all of the singers will have to get together with, these are only the performers, we'll go do a sound check at the um, amphitheater up there. It's right next door to the Pitchfork Fondue. So there are some gift shops up there that um, all the non-singers can spend their time looking through because we'll do the sound check at 6.30 with the singers and the directors and the accompanist. And then the theater opens at 645. And so um, all of the kids will meet back with their families in our um, spots for the musical. And then, oh, actually, probably not at this point. Um, at 715 is when the kids will perform. We'll do a little 15-minute program before the musical starts. Then we will meet families at our spots. Um, I. I just put 10 o'clock for the time that we depart. We'll go as soon as the musical is done, then everyone head to the bus. As soon as the bus is full, then we'll head back down to the motel. But um, I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm going to give everybody until 10 o'clock to be leaving. I'm just, I just put that time there because I don't know. And then let's get a good night's sleep. So um, everyone's in their rooms and rested up. I'm ready for the next day. Um, speaking of the 
performance at the musical. This is what our concert attire will look like. Um, I will say that we've been having, most people have been doing a pretty good job during our concerts, wearing uh, what is appropriate and what is expected. Um, one thing that I want us to keep in mind is that we need our legs covered all the way and we need to be wearing dress shoes. If you are wearing a skirt, we need to be wearing opaque tights, black. Okay, we don't want our legs to be seen. We want to look as professional as possible, as uniform as possible. So I gave some examples of my kids. Um, some comments that I get sometimes is that there's difficulty finding shoes or pants for girls, etc. And uh, one thing that I will say is my kids have been involved with youth choir for going on 10 years now, and we have always had appropriate concert attire, whether it be long black pants with dress shoes and a long skirt. So I'm just saying that we need to have our polos tucked in. It looks neat and uniform. I do not want leggings, no boots, and no heels. So let's get working on that. If you don't have those things, um, talk to us because we seem to be able to find these items. I know they're not always easy but um, let's be working on uh, looking our best. Um, we also have taken orders for the pullovers. If it's cool out, the pullovers look very similar to these polos with the same logo on there, but it's just a long sleeve option. So we'll say for this concert, you can have the long sleeve option um, if you want to, but that would just be that it's over this polo. So the kids can decide which one they want to do. So I hope we don't have to have any more discussion on that. This is what kids should look like. Thank you. Day two, um, we will have grab and go breakfasts. Um, I'm not sure if we'll keep those on the bus or if I'll keep those in my um, hotel room, but the same thing with our snacks. We'll have snacks along the way too and um, always options there for the kids. It should be that um, this is kind of the total package. And if you're coming with us on this tour, you shouldn't have to spend any money. Um, so we will have that grab and go breakfast. I will let you know whether it'll just be right outside my room or um, if we'll open up the bus to have that stored in there. I'll talk to the bus driver about that, um, but that'll open up at 8.30. You just grab it and take it with you. And then um, at nine o'clock, these are kind of when the activities can start. I've looked at some of the times to see when things happen. Um, some of us chose to do the point to point pass, and that includes the lazy river, the mini golf, and the zip line. And so you can see though there where those things, um, when they open, when you can do those. And then those who signed up for horseback riding, um, we will meet at the bus um, 20 minutes before your scheduled time and you all signed up for a time um and that will be on the south end of the badlands motels where that bus will be to bring you out to the stable or you can just if you're able to get yourself out to the stables just make sure you get there five minutes before your scheduled time um, there's also shopping in town there is pickleball right there there's the playground there's hiking trails so those are all free um, so just we can spend our morning doing these activities and maybe even into the afternoon if you have time. Um, if you bought the pass, these are include, or if we got the pass, chose that. But I know if, for my family, for example, we signed up for horseback riding, but we will just on our own probably buy um, individual passes for mini golf, et cetera. So those can still be things that you do, but just know that that. Um, you will be paying for that. Um, you have lunch on your own. You will be given per diem for that, um, $10 a person. Just find a place in town where you wanna have lunch. Um, you can talk to me if you have any questions about any places to eat. Uh, I've been to Medora many times, so I have a good idea as to what is available to you. Um, and then I just put one o'clock departure time. That's a good time for you to start heading over to the um the old town theater we won't necessarily um walk there together everyone will kind of be doing their own stuff kind of for the morning so um if you just want to meet me at the at the um 
at the Old Town Theater. That's you'll uh, be able to partake in a magic show. And then, but at three o'clock, we will meet at the bus at the Badlands Motel, and we will take a trip through the Teddy Roosevelt National Park. And that's kind of fun just to have the bus drive us around and make some stops and take some pictures. You'll see the picture of me uh, a couple of years ago. My brother and I took our horses out and we um, rode horse around the um, Teddy Roosevelt National Park. That's just a picture of me doing that there. Um, that should, we'll probably do that for, you know, maybe an hour, an hour and a half. And then we'll get dropped back off in town. People can continue on with their activities. Um, and then we will meet at the Harold Schaefer Heritage Center. Um, it's not too far from um, the playground. Um, just to kind of, as a point of reference, there's, um, it'll just be outside. And uh, we'll have the, the Badlands pizza delivered there because Medora didn't feel like with our size of group that we'd have enough space um, at the pizza saloon. I think that's what they still call it, Badlands pizza. And um, so it just kind of um, people signed up for their times, whether they want to show up at 6 or 6.30 for their uh, pizza. And then, like I said, you have the rest of the evening on your own, it looks like. Um, some things are open until about 7 or 8 o'clock. I will tell you that Medora, it's kind of like a small town, so things do close up um, early. So um, kind of will be a long day. You might want to get a good night's sleep. But for sure, um, we'll be in our rooms at 11 o'clock um, for our lights out. And then on our day three, same thing. We'll grab our breakfast a little bit earlier at 8 o'clock. And then uh, we'll get on the bus and we'll go to Sully Creek State Park, which is a little ways out the south end of town. And then I will lead everyone on a rigorous hike up to the top of the hill or whatever you want to call it on the Mahade Trail. Um, we'll get our picture taken up at the top, overlooking some of the scenic areas of Medora. Um, you probably can't see it in this picture, but um, probably more towards the left is where the musical is, way off in the distance, and um, the pitchfork fondue. So it's kind of fun to see those things. Um, and then we'll hike back down. So you'll see, I'm not giving us a lot of time. We're going to hike up, hike down, and then get back on the bus, and then we will head on out. Uh, back for home. We'll stop in Bismarck. Remember that we lose an hour getting back into central time. So um, it'll feel like noon, but it'll be one o'clock. And uh, we'll have a picnic lunch there at Sertoma Park. That's where Subway will be delivered. And um, we'll have some time there. Everyone will get a, a pass to get into the zoo, but then there also is a fun park there if people want to buy tickets and and go on rides and all that kind of stuff and then uh, by four o'clock we'll get back on the bus and so that we can arrive back in Fargo at our meeting spot at around seven o'clock to kind of let those people know if you had people drop you off so that's how our trip is going to look Got a couple of extra slides here. Um, some people have talked to me about their plans for riding the bus. Um, we strongly, strongly encourage, almost require, well, we require all singers to ride the bus to our location. This, um, you know, one, one point or one part of us doing these trips is, um, so that kids can go, get to know one each other, one another in the choir. And a lot of um, camaraderie is built on bus trips and especially on those stops that we're taking out to, um, in this case, Medora. People really get to know each other and, you know, friendships are formed. And then also the director um, this year, Mr. Van and Eichel is directing the choir. And um is a time where sometimes the kids will practice some of their songs on the bus for a part of the trip, um, noticing that as soon as we get to Medora, we're going to be performing right away, and this will be a good time for the kids to uh, brush up on some of their music. So um, with that said, some of you have talked about um, your travel plans, and so there is going to be a survey um, sent out again about what your plans are for riding the bus 
um, keeping in mind that we want the singers to be riding the bus to Medora, but um, I also need to know this because if on the way home, if you your the family is not planning on traveling with the group on the way home, um, I don't want to be buying uh, zoo passes or food or things like that for um, if they're not going to be used. So the look at that survey and please um, fill that out. I have the bus survey right here for you for you. So um, if you can scan that and then go to the bus survey and fill that out, I need everyone to fill it out so that I know what people's plans are. And then also too, if people aren't riding the bus, then I'm not we're not waiting um, for people who aren't going to show up as I as we do a checklist. It's just to communicate with me so that I know who is going to be on the bus and that we don't um, we don't lose anybody. But here's some the forms checklist. These are all the the forms that should have been filled out um, so that I can plan for our meals and our activities. And then I'm pretty everyone did the pullovers for sure. I know that much because we've got those ordered. Um, please fill these out. It really it takes a lot of time for me when I have to track down people who haven't filled out the form. Um, but also, if you are planning on not having Quiznos or Subway or pizza, then you can just at least tell me that you're not you're not planning on partaking in that so that I don't hound you about filling those forms out. So there's Quiznos. That's going to be our Jamestown stop. There's the Pitchfork Fondue. That's right before the musical. Um, then there's the activity sign up. Then there's the pizza sign up so that I know um, who to plan for at six o'clock and who to plan for at six thirty. About more a little bit more than half of us have have filled out the pizza sign up. So let's please do that. Subway is for the trip home. Um, like I said, if you're not traveling with the group on the way home, then there's an opt out of this option so that I don't um so I know that not to order food for you. And then I need everyone to fill out the bus survey so that I know who is riding the bus. Um, here's the other QR codes. I'll leave this. You can just pause the video if you need to scan one of these because you forgot to fill one of those out. I think we're all pretty good with the Quiznos. I might need a few people to fill that out. Um, not very consistent on Subway. Probably only have about half of you. And then I need a couple people to do the, the fondue. If you know that you did it, you did it. But just um, send me a private message if. You need to so you can just pause the video here if you need to scan one of those and then i know this is really tiny but you might want to pause the video here too this is our rooming assignments um, rooms 1 through 22 are at the badlands motel and then across the street a little bit of a hike there's rooms 23 through 31 are at the elkhorn they couldn't fit all of us at the badlands motel and we also had some people who wanted rooms of five um, and we were able to accommodate that over at the Elkhorn. Uh, for those people, um, so this is what your room list looks like. Some of you might say, oh, well, some people have rooms of two. That's not fair. Those people who are in rooms of two or three have requested that that's what they wanted and they are paying extra for that for that luxury. So just Please be aware of that, that if you did not let me know that you wanted to be um, two to a room or whatever, then I had to put you into a different room because the, the price of the tour is based off of quad occupancy. And so if you wanted to be in a room with just the two of you, like you'll see um, how room three is set up, that's because that family told me that that's how they wanted that and they paid the entire rooming cost. So there might be time if you if you want to change your mind now that I can get you a room um, so that you're not sharing. But um, as of now, this is how the rooming assignments stand. As you can even see, like my family got split up and um, that's just the way that it goes because that's how we decided we wanted to pay for the trip. So just pause the video here if you need to see, find your name. 
So just let me know if you have any questions. Um, this is my phone number and my email, but a lot of you have been able to um, get me on Band app. Speaking of Band app, let's try to be better about private messaging me rather than responding to the whole group, because a lot of times our our questions don't pertain to everybody, and um, so it's better if you just message me privately, and that will be good for everybody. All right, it's going to be a great trip, everybody. Um, this is this is the largest group that we've traveled with. I think we've got a hundred and hundred some people. And I think that's just so great. I just love to see that. And then also we have, I think it's 50, 55 singers. And that's almost half of our, our total um, enrollment for the whole organization. So that's just so great to see. And I just um, love doing this kind of stuff and can't wait to have a great trip. All right. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye.